welcome back to the N Squared World Domination Society. Today we will be building a temperature activated fan slash space heater. Alright, first things first, solder a bow Arduini onto a circuit board. The part and code download are linked in the description as always. Then, attach a beefcake relay to the board. I've built one of these in a previous video that I will link to in the description for those of you interested. Finally, and yes, this is a very simple project, attach the temperature sensor. I got this sensor from a large kit of 37 sensors that will come in handy for later projects. As always, there's a circuit diagram at the end of the video for what I have just built. Alright, so this is the code for the uh, automatic fan temperature sensor. It uses two libraries, uh, both of them are linked in the description, as well as this code, the onewire.h and the Dallas, Dallas temperature.h. Uh, I don't actually have the Dallas temperature installed on this particular computer, which is why it's not orange, but it still works. Now, of course, because this is temperature, uh, we're dealing with America and rest of the world. So uh, the temperature does read both Celsius and F Fahrenheit, and you can see it on the uh, serial monitor in the code uh, at the same time. However, when actually setting the temperature, you can either only set it to Fahrenheit, so this one currently is at 77 for Fahrenheit or 25 Celsius. Uh, if you want to switch and use the Celsius instead, Fahrenheit is default just because it's more accurate. You'll get rid of that comma there and that comma there. And then you don't have to, I guess. Uh, I mean, technically the code will work like this, but you're probably going to want to just comment out this section here all the way down to there. And now that is gotten rid of everything involving Fahrenheit and you're just working with uh, Celsius now. And no matter which temperature you're using, whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit, if you want to make this a fan and not a space eater, you will take uh, this little greater than symbol here and have it be uh, less than. So that way, if the temperature is less than, in this case, 25 degrees, which I think is rather warm, I mean, it's about 77, uh, then your space heater will turn on. And I would recommend when uh, actually connecting the wire to the project, you connect an extension cord instead of the actual fan or space heaters cord. So you can switch out what it is uh, depending on the time of year, or you can have like something random. If you one day want to decide to charge your phone, but only if it's less than 25 degrees Celsius, go ahead. Or if it's greater than that, or if it's equal to 25 Celsius. I don't really know why you would want that, but I mean, it is an option. And now I'm gonna jump over to Realme just to show you how the fan works in practice. All right, so your auto fan. Uh, I have added a USB to supply power to the actual board and put it in a project box, which is temporary because I think I'm going to make some upgrades later on down the line. Uh, I made it USB powered because I figured most people using this, probably being uh, rather tech savvy, are going to be next to a computer. And as you can see, uh, with this extension cord at least, my computer's quite a long way away. It's behind those monitors, under that desk, and then down in that area. So. It'll reach quite a long way. It doesn't look like it, but I'm actually very far away from my computer right now. And the cord is very loose. You can see the temperature sensor poking out of the box right there, so you'd want that exposed so it can get an accurate reading of the temperature. I'd recommend putting the box uh, not right next to the fan either, because that will cool it down much quicker. Like try and have them across the room maybe. I've also got the fan itself plugged into an extension cord, and that's what I've cut up. So I can switch this out for a space heater in, I don't know, like late February, whenever it's cold here in Spokane. So of course, when your room gets hot enough, the fan will turn on. Uh, it's the middle of February, so I mean, my room is pretty cold right now, but thankfully I have girlishly long hair. So, there you go. Fan turns on, and then once the room gets cold enough, or you can simulate a cold room, uh, as much as you can simulate a hot one. That hair dryer was very hot, <laughs> apparently. Wow, there we go. The fan turns off uh, by itself, and then once it gets hot enough, there we go. 
my lighting kit actually dims when I turn this hair dryer on. There is an insane amount of technology in this room. I'm surprised I don't plug blow the circuit. In fact, my computer, there's an extension cord that goes all the way outside because if I were to turn on my computer, I would blow the circuit. But yeah, as you can see, uh, just a temperature activated fan. Uh, I have upgrades planned in the future. I'll probably print a case as well as put some maybe adjustments uh, where you can adjust the heat without having to bust open the code. So uh, stay tuned for that. And with that, all right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. Thanks for watching. So whenever the room gets above whatever it was, you've just seen the code, uh, then it, this fan will turn off. Uh, no, this fan will turn on. <laughs> so whenever the room gets hot enough for this to activate, your fan will get on, but get on. So of course when your room gets hard enough, 